Okay, I'm assuming you guys can hear me now. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner, and tonight we have a special treat for you. We've got um, Lauren Taylor from uh, Lauren Taylor Made. Lauren Taylor Made, yes, <laughs> on with us. I just love her. She always makes such cute, cute cards, and today we're going to be using something from Whimsy Stamp, and as soon as she told me what stamp she was planning on getting, I... I had to place an order because it is just too fun. So we're going to be using this stamp today. This one is, from, like I said, from Whimsy Stamps, and it is called Feed Me, as in Feed Me Seymour. Uh, that is one of the movies that I just think is just too, too, too fun. Now, first, now that I've said all that, let me find out, can you guys hear me? Because <laughs> how many times have I gotten started and you guys not been able to hear me? gonna read down the chat real quick we've got Janine who is has been in here with us for just a little bit crystals in with us today too she says yes I'm assuming she could saying yes you can hear me um, we've got miss Gloria Wolf and hello from Illinois miss Su Susie thick thumbs up and live chat on awesomeness so I'm assuming that you guys can hear me so I'm gonna go ahead and bring miss Lauren on and we will touch out with her and see what we're gonna do Okay, now I just switched my mic. Uh, that's the thing I always have to remember is to switch my mic so you don't have an echo because you guys have had to deal with that with me too. And I am so sorry for that. So go ahead and make sure that you can hear me well and everything is good. So just let us know if you're able to hear us and there's not that terrible, terrible echo that we get sometimes. Do you see that uh, Miss Cordelia is in the house? Welcome Miss Cordelia. I think I've said hello to everyone so far, so if you guys could just let me know for sure whether or not you're hearing us okay, and with no echo, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I know that there's always a delay on the chat, so I don't know if you're saying anything yet. So let's go ahead and talk with Ms. Um, Miss Lauren, real quick. Lauren, could you tell us all a little bit about yourself, what kind of crafting and such you do, and what you have planned for us for tonight? Hi, yeah. Um, so my name is Lauren. Um, I've been crafting, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we all craft as kids, but diligently crafting cards, I think since around 2008. Um, my mom was going to good old Stampin' Up! gatherings <laughs> back in the day when we used to meet for card clubs. So I started going with my mom and it kind of spiraled from there. You know, it all starts with a stamp and now I have a craft room full of stamps. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I've tried... <laughs> I've tried different other different other other types of crafting like scrapbooking and journaling but at the end of the day card making is my favorite and the only thing I've really stuck with um I think because it's easy to give it away and it's a small you know portrait of what you can work on it's not overwhelming like a 12 by 12 scrapbook page but um so yeah oh, I've just been yeah. making cards for a long, for a long time um Recently, I'd say in the last year and a half, I've been really going more on the social media um, and posting things. So it's been really, really exciting year and a half to really put myself out there. Um, and then I am currently on the Whimsy Stamps design team. I'm on their video team. Um, so of course I wanted to share <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> stamp sets from Whimsy today. So, uh, I'm so happy you bought it too. Glad to be here with you, Debbie. I'm excited to do this live. It's my second live ever. So slightly less nervous than the first time. <laughs> oh, you are doing great. I'm going to go back over to the chat real quick. I do see that we, uh, Maureen said that we do not have echo. So yay. That is a big plus. <laughs> Um, also, TR is in the house, so welcome, Miss TR. Thank you so much, guys, for dropping in. Um, this is really a funny s stamp. It's like as soon as I saw Audrey on here, I thought, oh my god, yay! 
<laughs> so, I mean, sometimes we talk about the, you know, our, our cats are just saying, feed me, feed me. So that's one reason I think this thing is funny. The probably the most amusing of the um, stamps on this thing is the sentiment that says, who is this Groot you speak of? Yeah, because I that was so funny. Okay. I think I have a Groot problem. <laughs> so here's one. Uh, th these are these live on my desk. Oops, then I just spilled That's some so of the cute. perlite and stuff out of it. And my husband's got another uh, another Groot. So he has another little agave that's in a Groot on his desk. I gotta clean this stuff up. As if I didn't already... I always have a mess on my desk anyway. So yeah, having a mess to start <laughs> off with is kind of normal. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that that was just hilarious. And I've got the... Um, Cracker Box and Susie Stamps little Groot, um, baby Groot in a little bucket. I've got I've got that in my stash too, so now I can use them both together. That's so cute. Oh, I kind of have any Groot stamps. I need to get some. I just, I mean, there's just some things that just stick. You know, I mean, like with um with Kindred Stamps, I love theirs too because there's so many yeah. fun things in there, and they're ones that I haven't ever gotten around to using, like Sam and Dean. <laughs> Oh, I know. They've got the they've got a stamp <laughs> set in there that is um I think it's called Demon Hunters. It's not available. One thing I don't like about kindred stamps is they don't leave their stamps up for long. You know, it's like you right. can't get them. But yeah. um but that one it's just so funny because we watched we watched Supernatural beginning to end and I've heard it's coming back like a spin-off. Yeah, because um, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sam kind of got ticked off because he was never even told about it. So yeah, he's going to be I in it too now. They apparently Twitter had a conversation. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I've, I forgot to tell you, but yeah, come on out, you know. So that's going to be that's cool. so funny. Okay, so on to other topics. <laughs> back to crafting. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be doing for us today? Okay, so yes, I love Little Shop. Um, I've seen the stage production a few times, but of course the movie always has this wonderful spot in my heart. I'm a huge Steve Martin fan. I love mm -hmm. him as a dentist. Um, and of course I, like you said, there's little things like you have Groot everywhere. I have plants with teeth everywhere. <laughs> there's even <laughs> one in my living room that I, I believe was a Halloween um like plant with little teeth on it from michael's i don't even know how long ago um but it stays out all year round it's the one thing i've gotten my husband to be okay with <laughs> otherwise <laughs> everything comes out at halloween um oh yeah so yeah i have my uh feed me stamp set i'm gonna use this one on the bottom here i just love that audrey too in the little um plant pot um i wish i had Whimsy has a really cool blood uh, stencil and I don't have it. Now I wish I would have bought it, but I'm going to use this one. It's a teardrop splash stencil. And I thought it kind of could resemble, you know, blood splatter, like blood drops And everywhere. now that you just said that, <laughs> I have to go back into my Halloween stamps that I just put away <laughs> and grab out. Um, I think it was Inka Dinka Do has this one that is all blood, blood drips and splatter and oh, stuff. Oh, nice. So, or yeah, we could just I'm get out our splat boxes. Ask any That's of the true. folks in the chat. I kind of like playing with the splat box, and I always say, oh, it looks like blood splatter. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have said it. Now that is exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to distress some uh, blood onto the background, and then I think just make it a little, my Audrey 2, the focal point of my card. I also have this Eek die set. I can mm -hmm. find what I did with it. Here's part of it. Oh, I think because I was die cutting. It's somewhere over here. Here it is. It's an eek, uh, eek shadow and word die. So I'm going to do the top two and have kind of an eek sentiment somewhere on here. And then I also is that die cut. Whimsy also? Yeah, everything I'm using is from Whimsy. Awesome. Um, and then this is one of their comic book, or not comic book, comic speech bubbles. Dice mm -hmm. said there's a ton of different dies in there. So I'm using this. I don't know what this one looks like a comic book to me. Um, it looks like the Bam Pal thing. Yeah, exactly. And I was thinking of putting like Feed Me in there or something. I'm still <laughs> working that out. So we'll see. But that's definitely the layout I'm going for. <laughs> well, you are doing better than me because you've got things planned out and I don't. <laughs> 
And looking over in the chat, I see that we've got a couple more folks in here, and they are already talking about food. I know, Pam, PJB hungry. Stampers <laughs> says she had crab cake for lunch. Dinner will be something at Chicago Midway Airport. Oh, are you coming back from your trip, honey? I think that's what she's talking about. I think she's coming back from her trip. And I'm just looking to see. Cordelia had Zatarans today. Oh, it's she said she mine. had to put she had to put um Trader Joy's Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning on it to make it palatable. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and spotlight Ms. Lauren and let you guys watch what she's doing while I go find some blood splattery things. <laughs> and I will be right back. I'm gonna die cut one more thing, so I apologize if it's loud. Okay, that should be the last of my die cutting. We'll see. Well, I tried to pop as much as I could just because if I don't have an idea, I'm afraid I'll spend too long second guessing everything I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with my background and I'm going to be using candied apple. I feel like that's the bloodiest <laughs> looking color I have, which is weird to say it out loud. And I think I'll also add splatter, like Debbie J said. I think that will look really cool too. Yeah, and I decided I am going to, I did not mean to spotlight me, sorry. There, now <laughs> we're both on there again. <laughs> So I'm going to, I decided I am going to use that ink a dink do it's got the bloody handprints and I think that's kind of cool. Oh, so that would be nice. whoever's trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine Pooler ink. And for this, I really don't need my stamp platform, I don't think, because this is supposed to be kind of messy. And then I'll put all the splatter down on top of it and see how that looks. Oh, I mean, if it doesn't look good, I can perfect. always restamp. Yep, that is true. Let's see. Because it's Elizabeth Halloween, and Halloween, it can definitely purple. look messy. I have aged mahogany. Maybe I'll throw in a little of that. Elizabeth had an idea of using a deep purple to add on a, <laughs> like it's dried up a little. Let me put maybe just in some of the areas. Yeah, actually, that would look good. Actually, yeah. Kind of the deeper, the, the reddish purple does look like dried blood, and I think that would be cool. And then Pam says right after that, as long as there's no real blood. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep watching no. until the time no it's time. No real blood. Oh, she's going to keep watching until it's time to get on her plane. Well, Elizabeth, at one point, she was trying to open up the, um, the new Distress Micas the distress mica sprays and she was having problems with it and we were very we were very concerned at one point we thought Ooh. she was going to slice her hand open oh my goodness yeah oh yes i do oh. like the added look of that deep oh red. yeah oh <laughs> it almost looks like bloody teeth <laughs> also good i like that yeah absolutely <laughs> i mean you could have done that like with um like on a red or green background with white teeth, like white pigment ink on there mm -hmm. with a little bit red on the um, tips. That would have been really kind of cool too. Yeah. look like Audrey lost some of her teeth, you know, <laughs> it's looking like a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'll send it out as a Christmas card. I have some friends that would I've, been, I've made like really it. weird things as how as birthday cards. <laughs> I think the last time I used this um, bloody stamp set was making a card that was going to go out to my brother-in-law. And then my husband mm. never did sign it. And he's the one that told me to put the blood on it. <laughs> and 
Okay, so I need the hands. And what's neat when you're putting blood um, kind of things on a panel, you can always just put your finger in the ink and then add a fingerprint. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's funny. Let me test this first. And since this is Catherine Polar ink, it's all water reactive. So when I start using sprays and water and stuff on there, it's going to kind of do like a kind of a really creepy kind of blend. I think that'll look kind of cool. Very cool. I'll make the, the hand prints and splatter kind of. Things. Her ink pads are very, very, very juicy. Mm -hmm. I'm What I found with a Oops. lot of the, um, like with the Distress inks, for some reason my ink pads always seem like they're dry when I'm trying to use them. And I thought that it was something I did until I decided to try doing an ink swiping. It's like, oh. There is ink in this pad. Because I didn't realize it. I mean, I've had only for like, what, three, four, three years? And I hadn't really used them much. I've done some ink blending, but it always seemed so hard to get the ink blending down. Which I think now it may have just had to do with the paper or the blending brushes I was using. I thought I was about done with the ink, but I think I got to put this drip on there. Like down from the top. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's got to go there. Oops, that's the wrong one. Need a different one of those. It's not big enough either. I don't have a big enough one. Oh well. I will just go with the top. I really, I really was intending to do a Hall Halloween card, obviously, but I really <laughs> think it's going to end up being a Christmas card. I'm enjoying the colors that are... Well, that I, I love the blood on the eek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was using the little stamp in here. Oh, goodness. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, let me check and see what's going on over in the peanut gallery. Kim in Alaska's here. Linda Taman Creates is here. Hello, Miss Linda. Yeah, Linda turns out is one of my neighbors, kind of. She's, um, she's in Florida, a bit north of where I am. Very cool. I am planning my oh, And I Florida accidentally trip. clicked on Kim's note about something about COVID. I have no idea what she was talking about. Anywho. So I've got out all of my sprays. I think I'm going to put some purple and I'm going to use the Distress Oxides first and then try to put a little bit, not too much, of my micas. I love my micas and I want to make sure I can have them for a long time, which is why I've got two of each. There's a little purple. There's my bubbling cauldron. I have I know I've got another green. I've actually got a few different greens. Okay, this one's peeled paint. Oh, awesome, Pam. Pam went out of town and, oh God, I am right now splattering peel paint <laughs> distress spray all over me because I was shaking it and apparently it wasn't closed all the way. But that. she's got five cards waiting for her at home when she gets done with her trip. So that is awesome. Let's 
So now it's looking a little bit brownish. That's okay. Okay, this is my favorite blood splatter, Lauren. It looks this awesome. is the, the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> And I just flick it on with the end of the uh, with the end of the straw. Works so good that way. I try doing it the other, you know, trying to do it like with a putting it on a palette or something like that. And yeah. It does not work. Crap. And I think I'm gonna do something with the flickering candle. I do need some more color on here too, though. Gives it a little more color. I think I'm going to put some peppermint stick splatter on here too. That'd be cool. Because that one's even a darker red. Oh. oh, yeah. I didn't get any of the mica. I have a lot of old um, Heidi swap sprays that I never used, so I didn't. <laughs> I was like, I don't need more sprays sitting in my drawer when I don't even well, use the ones I Well, I had use. a few that I didn't use much because I have this thing about not wanting to make a mess. And then what do I do? I get the green stuff all over me, right? Um, but this year, I have actually done more with with this box. I made this box. I just, you know, cut the sides and taped mm -hmm. it all together with some packing material. And I'm kind of liking the way most of my panels turn out yeah you've done some really great stuff on your videos i have a splatter box but it's not as big as i it's just an old like kindred box that i got stamps in <laughs> um i need to make one that's a little higher because i do tend to get splatter like everywhere <laughs> well that's what i did the one though i've got another one that is a katherine pooler box it's about like this thick you know when it's because it's when it folds down it's like that thick yeah and i started off with that one earlier this year and then i switched over to this and i think i am gonna have to go back and stamp back i got this big puddle of mica that i don't really want to waste look at that you can see the lump <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from where my hocus pocus kind of globbed there because i didn't shake it up janine says it looks fun Are you guys telling me that Ryan has a, a live stream right now? Do I need to go over there and, and just forget about this one? <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I know that this isn't drying. This is just regular paper um, instead of... I don't know if I want to touch that little bubble. Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna do but um I decided to use regular paper because I have a real hard time when it comes to stamping onto watercolor but this stuff doesn't yeah, really the this war warps and doesn't really dry that well but it looks a little bit neat this is kind of an interesting background and you're way ahead of me you know that happens on every single live I start talking so much that <laughs> the other person gets completely done with their project <laughs> plus they know what they're gonna do and I have no idea I might no, I like to doing these a and, on my colors, but we'll see. Well, I like doing these and basically trying to focus on what the other person is doing because we can all learn from you. I want to give you exposure to my folks. I definitely want to give my folks exposure to you. Because like I said, you make some awesome, you know exactly how to put together pretty much all of your scene cards. And I suck at making any kind of scenes. No. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to learn. My, practice, my, um, there are definitely cards where I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> this did not turn out how I expected. 
Well, the one that I did last week turned out pretty good, and that's because I had done another one that I'd had trouble with. <laughs> if yeah. you guys saw the um, the hop video that I did last week, you know that it's the same exact card design as what we did last week with Elizabeth, except the one that was on the hop was a slider, and the one that was on with Elizabeth was a light-up card using copper tape, and both of them I struggled with. <laughs> <laughs> Copper tape is definitely not the easiest to work with. I've been playing with it for a couple of years now, and I am now finally actually feeling confident with it. Well, that's what we should have done then. <laughs> Next time, we'll do light up cards. <laughs> well, what I'm thinking about um, adding coming up, and I would love for you to come back for this. I'm going to continue having um, having people on my live streams with me. You know, guest guest crafters mm -hmm. but i threw out that idea earlier today in a video i put up that i could do kind of two or three people on with me so we could have up to four people on there so that we could actually see what everybody was doing and i'm also thinking maybe do some kind of a challenge yeah i saw your post earlier today when i was i mean not when i was working was i watching youtube videos but while, while i was at work if you uh, were you weren't the first one <laughs> <laughs> um yeah as debbie knows right now i'm on my lunch break because i'm over here on the the west coast um which means i'm yeah, very surprised awesome. we got her on i am really yeah. surprised we were able to get you on because if it if for it to be a convenient time for you i'd be having to go to sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, oh, thank fine. you, Kim. Very... Kim said that Ryan is not doing a live right now, and even if he was, we would all stay here with me. You guys are so <laughs> awesome. Okay, I think that's about as dry as I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to smush that little. Oh, it didn't smush too much. It's actually drying somewhat dimensional on there, so that is kind of cool. Now I just need to restamp my handprints. Yeah. Just the hand, maybe the drip at the top, but yes, the handprints because it'll have a little bit of variation in color. So it'll look like part of it's the background, but the handprints are the most recent. So that'll be cool. I love it when I have ideas that actually work. <laughs> they don't always, but you know. Yeah, it's nice when it actually comes out how you envision. No, nothing ever comes out how I envision it. Usually, it's usually I get pleasantly <laughs> surprised, which is really nice. I have an idea, but it doesn't. Can you see that? It's like you can see like there's blood, blood splatter on the wall, but now you've got this big red handprint in the front. Yeah, it looks good. That is cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Gloria. Oh, and Sharon Liska is here with us today, too. Welcome, Sharon. Hey. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before. So thank you so much for dropping in, honey. If you don't recognize the other hands, that is Ms. Lauren Taylor of Lauren Taylor Made. <laughs> and she is super awesome. And she is coloring Audrey, too. And I still need to stamp mine out. <laughs> I'm a slow color, colorist, colorer, colorist. I speed up my videos fast because otherwise it would be two hours of me just trying to color. Hey, that's all of us. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting better at speeding mine up because I'm always afraid I'm going to leave out something that somebody actually really wants to see, but I'm not an expert at the coloring thing. I'm, I'm okay. And I'm getting better, which is good, mm -hmm. but it's almost like watching paint dry, you know? Yeah. And even I don't have thing. patience for that. Okay, so that's going to be my background. I may decide to add some additional something to it. I'm thinking I probably need to re-snap that, that top splatter up there, but I'm not sure. Um, also, Kim from Alaska, and I'm going to put this one up on the screen, hun. She says, what's wrong with watching YouTube at work? I do, but now, right now, I'm at lunch. She she watches YouTube at work, but right now she's she's actually eating lunch, like you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I guess I worry just because like my work 
supposedly tracks everything we do, right? And they're going to be like, hey, oh, how come yeah. you spent six hours on YouTube every day last week? And oh, like, yeah. yeah. It's background music. <laughs> it honestly is. I'm not just sitting there, you know, with my hands folded watching. I'm usually typing or working on something and it's just kind of background, which is, I wish I could leave more comments, but um, I usually do the add to my watch list or whatever it's called. And I try to like, oh, like yeah. everybody's, um, but I mean, it's a way to actually listen to something that I learned something from <laughs> and then um you know i'd love to i appreciate everyone who watches my videos and i love to watch other people's and um it's great to see you know so i guess the only problem i have at work is just i don't i don't need it going hey um <laughs> what are you doing oh, believe me I, I understand that one absolutely <laughs> But um, I still do it. <laughs> my, uh, my my last job, I know that they tracked it. It was a, a fairly large securities firm. Mm. And they definitely always tracked it. And they would come down every once in a while and say something about people that were doing stuff they weren't supposed to do. Like, I know that there was this one guy that was always watching soccer. Oh, okay. I mean, always yeah. watching soccer. I mean... With us, we could probably get away with it a little bit because I was on a phone team and the only time we actually had to really work was when the phones were ringing. Thing is, the phones were always ringing. <laughs> so yeah, I would watch YouTube and stuff during my breaks and such. If I can make myself actually stop working while... I, I'm kind of a workaholic. I don't mean to be, but I am. I get... Oh... Okay, stand me one more time, and then I think I'm going to put some clear embossing so I keep that pretty, pretty, pretty dark black. I'm using Versafine Claire Nocturne this time. So looking back in the chat, so Elizabeth says, Deborah, your card is in the mail, so she might be talking to me. She might be talking to um, Deborah Smith, but I don't know if Deborah Smith is in the chat because I didn't see her in there yet. So I think she's talking about the swap card. Is that what you're talking about, Elizabeth? Because we're doing that swap this month. That's not actually due out until the end of the month, which I haven't, I still need to mail all my stuff out. Okay, so I got my big thing of wild clear embossing powder as always, because I always forget to put down Oh, my embossing I always tool. always forget the embossing button. <laughs> almost always. Almost always forget. I'm getting better at it this year, but still. So I've I got the monster. Like... I've got the monster jar <laughs> up clear. <laughs> yeah, I've put it now with my um, my little tray that I use. <laughs> and they are literally they're both I, I moved all mo moved my most used embossing powders to the drawer beside me instead of having them in a cabinet so that i would actually use it okay and it looks like we have some buffering so let me see if it is anything on my end it isn't on my end so it looks like it's probably youtube hopefully it will straighten itself out But I think I probably need to reboot my computer. And no, I'm not going to do it in the middle of a live. <laughs> it's just all the... Like, I was telling you about this before, Lauren. My computer likes to gobble up all of my resources. And so I start shutting yeah. things down. Or right now I've got one Chrome, Chrome tab open. And that's StreamYard. I don't even have like the YouTube one now. out. Yeah, okay, good. good. Yeah. And it looks like Pam and Biddy Penny. Hello, Miss Biddy Penny. And da, 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 just looking to see who oh, else yeah, is here. Oh, yeah, I'm bad at reading. Yes, it is a whimsy stamp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stamp this is that. this is awesome. It's Audrey, too. It's Audrey, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get a little excited over these. Like, I showed my husband the, the picture on the website. And then I had to show him, and I showed him again today. And he's like, you already showed me that. It's like, I showed you on the picture, on the, on the website. I didn't show you that I got it. 
Yeah, it's much different. And he doesn't person. understand. Admire it. <laughs> Trying to remember, Audrey was green. I mean, her whole head was green, right? Yeah, with like purple. It's been lips. a little while since I saw that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm using an example from a previous card I've made. It has. Um, I used the like magic picture changer from Juan Fon, and I really oh like my how God. it turned out. So, um, oh my I have God. it propped up, and I'm using that as my guide. <laughs> I need okay, to be better about. Okay, you just gave about... me inspiration again, honey. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about stamping and coloring and like saving what I used, but I have you know, does it happen? No, I don't do it. Maybe one day I'll remember the actual colors of how I colored something. People put together really awesome like guides for themselves. And I'm like, I should do well, that. Well, I started one of those last year. I decided to cut like a four by four and stamp out my image. This was like Christmas of last year. Stamp out the image and then do like a color chart of what I used. And guess what? I didn't do any more. Than I mean, I even made a box to to hold them in. You know, just like a little box. It's like a almost like a, a Rolodex kind of thing. It's in. Yeah. It's got other stuff in it now because I have not used That's it. Funny. That's a good idea. A little Rolodex. Some, not like, if you don't use it. it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Do you have room on your desk? Because I don't, so I don't know where it would go. Well, my I desk tends to uh, tends to fill up every time I use it. Yeah. I got a oh, seven same. foot desk, and then I've got <laughs> three monitors in front of me. Mm -hmm. So I've got OBS on one side, and that's the one that I'm looking at the mostly looking at the comments, and then I've got um, Streamyards right in front of me. So yeah, I've got I've got a big desk, which is great, but I can't. Re I mean, unless I get up, I can't get to anything else. If it's not on my desk, I can't get to it. I share. I the off, the room I'm sharing is one I share with my husband. So yeah, he works. In the, this is that. where he does his work thing. And this is where he he's got two desks in here. They're about the same size as mine, and he does. Um, one of them is his work desk and he designs speakers and stuff and so he uses that for all of the software things and emails and all that kind of stuff and then his other one is the one that he goes on to facebook and stuff with <clears throat> oh sharon says that she loves your card oh thank you sharon i made it almost a year ago i think it was around oh really wow last year it is up on i do have it on youtube one of my earlier videos so uh <laughs> should still be good though and of course as i'm going i'm trying to figure out because i've never colored this image you guys saw me take it off the plastic i've never used this one before so i have no idea colors as to what i want to do and it's been so long since I saw the movie, I can't really use that as a reference either. <laughs> and I'm not as good as you are at, at getting the, the really, okay, you've got some dark green there and you've got some pretty light green and you can tell all the differentiation on it and I'm not real good at that. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm working I, on it, but I'm um, not real good at that. Yeah, you prop, did you want, did you do um, Kitten Clowder? I don't know what that is. Kitten powder. They teach. They teach coloring. Oh no! They're in Australia, um, but yeah. I just I use some um, Spectrum Noirs Illustrator markers, so I'm trying to get at least two or two, three to four colors of each one. You're also so, using um, the yellow, which is different color family, and I think that's probably m one of my in errors. I'm using AG1 as the lightest, and to me, it's not really light enough. And then I've got the darkest AG, AG5, and it's okay for the dark, but it doesn't have, it doesn't make it pop like yours is doing, because you've got that yellow in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, the DG family. Actually, that would work better than the C. Are you using DG1 or DG2? I oh, you're using DGs for the rest of it. Or I'm using the one. AGs. Yeah. That's what. Mine's, mine's more Christmas green and yours is more 
I kind of sort of dying green. With the way this card is going. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite black ink for alcohol marker coloring? Do you have a favorite? Uh, not really, because I still struggle with it. I've got... Yeah, me too. I still have um, Memento Tuxedo Black, which I use fairly often, but I have to stamp like three, four, or five times. Yeah. And then I've got... Um, I did buy a couple of Hero Arts ones that were supposed to be really, really, really good. And I don't know if I just am stamping wrong or what, but I have to stamp them multiple times too. So it's just one of those things that I don't know how they get really, really good coverage right immediately unless they're using, mm -hmm. like what I just did, I'm using Versifying Claire this time. Sometimes I do um, Versifying Onyx Black Ink. And then clear embossing over, although they say that's not a good idea with alcohol marker alcohol marker mm. coloring because you can mess up your nib. But I've never had any trouble with my nibs. Plus, these are bullet nibs. It's not like if we're using a brush, you know, brush yeah. nibs. If you were using a brush nib, I'd be more concerned. Yeah, I think and I am it. just experimenting. I put some DG1 down on here, and I think it looks kind of cool. But now you need to bring in some green because it's almost too yellow there. Ooh, I've been using cool. Ink on Threes Blackout Ink. I think it's my favorite. I've had the less less smearing, but I still get some smearing when I use the lightest shades, right? Because of that colorless blender in there. I think it really likes to move mm -hmm. that ink around. But but I yeah, I, I have to stand by at least twice. I've never had <laughs> an ink pad that was like, oh, unless it's uh, versifying. Like that one is one stamp. And it's very nice. Yeah, but, and then um, you wonder how did people do this before there yeah. was a stout platform? <laughs> I know. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, we would not, we would not have been doing well if there wasn't a stamp platform. <laughs> oh, I was like, what is on there? So, like I tell everybody, if I can do this, you can too. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I use I use the tools. I mean, if you don't have the tools, that's fine, but the tools are there to make it easier for you. Oh, maybe they and had that a is stamp exactly what they're for. Do, do you what? Stamp on the jigs. Stamp on the jigs. Yeah. Well, I didn't really start doing this stuff until 2017. So you oh, you've got a little bit more behind me. I mean, yeah. I mean, I remember hearing about them. <laughs> but I never used one. I mean, I started when I started. People all had the um, the misty, and I thought they're paying how much for that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. So getting I got the misty. really upset when they decided to do that whole lawsuit thing against the um, Tim Holtz yeah. stamp platform, and you can't really get against it. Against everyone, but it's crazy. Well, what's funny is I've been seeing lately on Amazon, and I don't know if they're shipping straight from the UK or not, but you can get the Tim Holtz stamp platform now. Oh, really? So that I have is cool. One. And, yeah, I have one too. My only problem with it is that the, the lid is, it's been cracked a bit for a while. Mm. And it's like you don't get a real good stamping right in the center. But I think that that was because I put magnets in it and they didn't really want to fit with my stamps. Oh, okay. And I probably used too much pressure. So that was my, that was user error because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But um, <laughs> since then, I've also had a few more, a few more um, like cracks show up recently. So I think it's just getting well loved. So yeah. I may have to get myself another one. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're interested in that, um, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I've got a new type of um, affiliate link down in the description. It's a kit.co. And what that company does is it basically has got where you can put a, a bunch of different items in there that you are interested in with, along with all the affiliate links. So if you go to that link, it'll take you to a link to, that has all my stuff on there. Um, the one that is should be... I believe it's in the description says my favorites and the Tim Holtz platform is in that list. I've been using that, I guess for a couple oh, of weeks and of the, the website seems to work good. Well, what, nice. one of the things that I binge a lot when I'm doing other things like 
supposed to be editing or something like that. <laughs> um, I, I also binge watch a lot of these ones having to do with how to make videos and how to grow your channel and just different things like that because I want I want all I want to know all the things. Yeah, and um, that was one that I just came across a video from one of the companies that I use a lot that they've been using it on their website. So it's now also on my blog. So instead of having to create a new um, product link thing, and hopefully mm -hmm. it's pretty, or having to pay for um, Link Deli, mm -hmm. which I've heard good and bad about them over the last couple of years. Um, instead of doing that, this is one that's absolutely free, and you can put all your stuff on there. And if anybody who has a channel or has a blog or whatever is interested in that and wants to know how I'm doing it, I did post a, a thing over on my Facebook group. I'm sorry, on my Facebook page about that because I was getting some questions from somebody. So instead of trying to explain it all through, um, <laughs> through Facebook chat, I just did a walkthrough. And I think I know that I looked at her, her page and it looks like she's got it set up now too. So it looks like she's at home. Apparently I did good enough that she understands it. <laughs> I think I need another something to really, I feel like my sentiment is getting lost because it's too much like everything else. Maybe, <laughs> maybe put some have... white behind it and bubble cut around everything. Yeah, I have one more. Well, that would look cool and it would give you a stitch stitch too. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do white or maybe like black. I think I might do black. Oh, yeah. Maybe do black and then also do a black ring around your circle. Oh, that's true. Okay. Let me try this. Okay, so Sharon was asking, will coloring over your embossing ruin your nib on, on your alcohol markers? I have heard that. Uh, I haven't had any problem with it on mine, but then again, I'm not really as worried about it because these are not the real expensive uh, Copics. Since these, aren't the, since these are less expensive than the Copics, I am not quite as worried about whether or not it's going to mess up something. And so far, I haven't had any problem with it, but I definitely like that raised edge. You could you could do this without the raised without doing it. You could do this after my brain just kept, got all my words jumbled up again. You could <laughs> you could definitely do this where the um, where you emboss afterwards. You know, restamp and emboss after you do all of your coloring. But I don't trust myself with that because inevitably I will have shifted my paper in some fashion and ruined all that work that I just put into doing the coloring. Okay, it looks like I had never taken taken out this AG3, and I like that darkness there. That's kind of making it pop a little bit more, which is cool. AG5. Oh, there's my AG4. I hadn't even brought that one out. I'm bringing out all the colors. <laughs> So that was a very good question, um, Sharon, because that, that's absolutely true. I have seen lots of folks saying you don't want to alcohol marker color over your embossing, and that is exactly why. It can mess up your nibs, but these are these are bullet nibs. It's not as expensive, and eventually I will probably upgrade. But I've had no problem with these things. I've been coloring with these for three years. I think the only problem is that you have to get refills eventually if you color too much. Oh yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, that's much better. And then maybe I'll mat the whole thing on black and that would tie them together. Mm, that would that's look cool. true too. Okay. Oof, do I have enough black paper? I am all out of black paper. I don't know why. Well, that, I do this every oh, year. Do, that means you could just use your black marker. That's true. 
I have one piece left, and it's not a very nice cardstock, which is means it's even better for backgrounds. <laughs> That's like I did a I did a witch card a while back. I finally got the blog post up, anywho. Um, but I did that one, and what the and I had forgotten I did this until I was just looking at the blog post to put the thing up. But at the time, what I wound up doing is just doing. I didn't have a purple that matched what she was wearing and I wanted a purple mat so I just used the the chisel nib on the purple marker that I've been using to color everything and colored the edges oh I like that too So I have to ask everybody, are you surprised that Lauren is almost done and I'm not? <laughs> it helped that I die cut a lot of things before we started. <laughs> I haven't even die cut anything. <laughs> no, it helps that you had an idea what you were going to do before you got started. I mean, I kind of have fun with, you know, just... You don't know what's going to come up and then you make it up as you go. And I love the way that everything turns out when I do that is just too cool. I mean, now I'm experimenting with using two completely different color families for my greens because of what you said that you were using. And I love the way that it's turning out and I don't have to use nearly as many markers. I just use AG5 and then DG1 and 2 and it looks like a sickly plant. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm surprised eat. is I haven't lost anything yet on my desk. Have you lost anything yet today? No. Because I always lose something. Everything is a mess. Just, <laughs> I'll take a picture <laughs> after. <laughs> I always call it my crafter math. I will, Especially like when you funny. film, right? I just throw oh, everything absolutely. off to the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the part that always gets edited out, guys. <laughs> well, another thing that I thought was funny today is my husband, apparently he, he came into the house and he said, you didn't see me, you know, throwing up my arms in frustration outside, did you? It's like, no. Apparently he lost a plant. Like he was, it he's walked he's, away um, or it died. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just couldn't find it. Oh. No, um, he's he's an engineer. He's very type. He's one of those. He's got to know where everything is, and he's very detailed, and he learns everything about everything when he's involved with it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's much more OCD than me. Oh, Maureen says, um, "Seat of the pants, crafty." All usually takes more time, so she was not surprised that I'm not not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, apparently, at some point, he put one of his plants somewhere and forgot where he put it and it didn't get it onto his spreadsheet or he listed it wrong on his spreadsheet or something like that. And then <laughs> I guess about like five minutes later, he found it. It was in a pot and it was pretty much right in plain sight. <laughs> Just like when I lose something and then I turn off the camera and then it's like right there. <laughs> it's like it's right in front of me, but I didn't know it was there. So I think I'm going to embrace the Christmas and I'm going to make my own sentiment. Okay. Um, I think like, sounds corny. Me, Mary, it was like Mary Biteness. I think what else Mary Eekmas. You've yeah. already got the eek. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That would be too funny. I'm trying to think of other things that... Audrey too says. He's just a mean green mother from outer space. And it looks like <laughs> you've been had. Yes, I remember the songs more so than the words. He's mean and green. Okay, I have to look back and see what it was that Linda and Gloria were talking about because somebody came from the folks, but I want to 
with an error message on my computer saying, okay, OBS apparently shut down and came back on, so hopefully you guys are all good. Okay. And last thing that Sharon had said, <laughs> plain sight is her Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, so now I'm bringing in that dark green again. It's probably going to make him too green, but at least he won't be yellow. Little letter of Christmas. I think I'm doing hangry Christmas. And yes, I even lose my markers when they're right in front of me and I'm trying to figure out what I'm using. So I think I just put the three down on that. Where's my AG1? That's my AG1. Okay. Okay, so they acknowledged that it looks like it went down and came back. That was on my end, guys. It was the OBS software I'm using. Decided it did not like me anymore. It does that quite a bit. And I want everybody to see what you're stamping, so I'm going to bring you up big on the screen oh, again. I'm hoping Just this will fit. Well, I might have to rethink my spacing. <laughs> That's okay. Um, that S is going to barely fit, but it's okay. I cannot stand straight to save my life. Mm. <laughs> you do know that whenever you say things like that, it makes me feel better. <laughs> if I put it on an angle on my card, maybe it will look straight. I mean, the reason I said that is because I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> and your cards always look so, so, so cool, so... Thank you. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to start again. My one is way off. Cheat <laughs> uh, like Christina Werner does and draw a little line. I know, I should. That's a good idea. Well, what's funny is whenever I watch um, someone that I consider an actual artist doing their thing, it's like, mm -hmm. but that's cheating is what goes through my brain. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. And now I could just stamp it. I don't have to let it in my neck. I'll just die cut around it like I probably should have done in the first place. Yeah, I probably could have just looked color. for a stamp that already said Christmas instead of stamping this all out myself, but <laughs> <laughs> I've already started.
Oh, yes, Deborah, you just ask if mail, if cards need to be mailed by the 31st. Yes, ma'am. And I have not mailed mine out either. Actually, I just, I think I just finished up a couple of them. So I still have quite a few left to go. But that's what I wind up doing. I always wind up making it like at the very last minute. I have no idea what color clothes to put on this guy. <laughs> hmm. Well, since that's green, I need something kind of bright. So. And I'm assuming it's it's um, Seymour and not Audrey. So I'm going to put yeah, some trousers guess. on him. Because <laughs> that would be mean for him, for, for Audrey to, to chomp on the girl. Well, I think in the original story, everyone dies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that happened too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I like the movie, I guess, more. There's some type of yeah, real, real and it's scene. it was funny, even if it was gory. You got it all straight, yay! Yay! Thank you for your tip on the. <laughs> I wonder if I should stand. Oh, I was just I was just repeating what I've seen, seen um, Christina Werner do so many times. I mean, she does her watercoloring and she draws out, she like basically writes out all of her um, letters. Like when she's doing one of the um, envelopes. Mm -hmm. So she, she draws out all of the letters for her, all her fancy writing that she does. And then she goes back over and it does, and it doesn't even match completely what she did, which is great because I definitely can't do that <laughs> either. I just love what she does. I mean, she's just, her art is incredible. And one of these days I will actually take the time to practice stuff because I don't. I switch from <laughs> one thing to another to another so much because there's yeah. so many fun things to play with. I know. I mean, I, I think someone... I started off... Yeah, I started off this year doing mostly um, foiling, because foiling is fun. Yeah. Mm, well, I know. I was, someone was saying, like, oh, I always make um, a card, and then I make it again to film it. And I was like, you have time to make... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish no. I had that kind of time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I usually have, like, an idea in my head, but... No, I am. Well, and you've also I'm practiced so, so much. You've done so much of them. I mean, you've been you've been doing this stuff a lot longer than me. And yeah. you've been doing but because you've been doing it for so long, you've got all these ideas and you know what works for you. Yeah. Where I don't always have that. I mean, given I kind of wind up working from home, I'm okay, this is what I'm kind of making my job because mm -hmm. I don't have a job because I got sick. And the more I recover and the more I get better, I'm, I think it's awesome, but it's like, I'm still not where I need to be. Mm. I mean, I'm, I was thinking about, actually, this is actually kind of funny. I was thinking about getting a job at Michael's because I, it's like three miles from my house. It's not a tough job to do cashiering stuff. I've done that stuff before. It's like, I'd probably be overqualified for it. <laughs> but if they wanted me to do any of the stock stuff, I wouldn't be able to do that because of my allergies to dust and getting out of breath too easy. Oh, so it's like, I well, I can't dust. do that either. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a major allergy to dust. That's one. I mean, it will knock me out for two days. Okay. A day and a half. I think that was one of the reasons why I was so exhausted yesterday was just trying to clean some because I yeah. could only put it off for so long. <laughs> Yeah, that's with me and cats. I am so allergic to cats. That well, I love I my cats, into... but they, yeah, I've got cats, I've got cats, and they, I love them to death. My problem with my cats is that they collect, they, they shed everywhere, and their hair yeah. attracts dust. So it's still the old dust thing. <laughs> uh, Cordelia, you are absolutely right. For the month of October, we're doing a Christmas or Thanksgiving card using 
I think I said using pattern paper or die cut, something like that. It's basically in the description. And then um, for November, it was going to be Christmas cards, I believe. Okay, that is an absolutely perfect Christmas card. I absolutely love that. <laughs> and guess what, Thank guys? One of you guys is going to win that one. card. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's awesome. I think I need to add some bloodshot eyes to Audrey. Will this work? Give it a little bit of pink would help. Actually, I'm going to do the whole thing in pink. Give it pink eyes. And then I'm actually doing, not doing too bad. I'm not as far behind as normal. <laughs> I just got to cut this guy out. I just remembered I need to color the ground. That would help. It also gives me less <laughs> to have to cut out. And yes, I am attempting the stipple, which I, <laughs> I don't really know what the heck I'm doing. I never do, do stippling because you just I do don't it do where it looks. Yeah, I just do it where I'm like, I think that looks okay. <laughs> well, I have started trying a couple of little techniques that I've seen other people do. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I'm surprised like, oh, it actually looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I just um, did and I still need to edit them and get them up but I did a couple of more of those um, dimensional flower cards I think uh -huh. actually one of the ones that's already up is the one with the lily and they, they're supposed to be like these freckles on the on the petals of the lily and it's like I don't know what I'm doing here and I'm probably positioning <laughs> these things all wrong that's, that's the OCD part of me that thinks it has yeah. to be done perfect but it doesn't because you know what nature's not perfect yeah exactly and nobody knows the difference they just know okay there's spots there there's supposed to be spots there so it looks good <laughs> <laughs> but i did do a couple more of those cards i got some some more new dies from spellbinders and oh my god i now have a new favorite and i'm not going to tell you guys what it is because i got to get the videos up first <laughs> <laughs> And this would take less time if I were just to put it through my scan and cut, but then I'd have to be away from the camera. Yeah. <laughs> So you're gonna pop that up, I'm thinking, probably. Yeah, the sentiment. Yeah, I see I see foam tape. Yeah. Oh, Cordelia says that my card swaps are the only one she's ever done. Well, I'm also yeah. doing some over at another group, Cordelia, if you're interested in doing more. Um, I go over to Card Conga, and they ha usually have like three or four at least a month. And they're all themed about around a type of card. 
and then they give you a video to look at to see if you want to, you know, that you can see how to make it. Um, one of the ones they're doing this time, and I forgot what it's called, and I haven't made my cards for it yet. And those are due to go out at the end of the month, too, which is next Sunday. Next Sunday. Um, but it's one of the ones from Jennifer McGuire that she did recently. So I need to see that. And it's a kind of a fun fold card, too, which is kind of cool. So I've still got to do that one. But they always, and the, and the people over there, are, they're awesome. If you've watched, uh, I know that you guys watch my Happy Mail videos. That's the other group that I'm doing the, um, the card swaps with. And they were actually the first ones I ever did any card swaps with. That was three years ago. So I haven't really swapped with any of those ladies since then. And there's a couple of people in that group. When I saw the cards that they sent to me, it was kind of one of those things that made me up my game. <laughs> because it's like, <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. All right, I mean, that's one of the fun to... things. I mean, watching the videos and seeing how somebody makes something is one thing. But then holding mm -hmm. it in your hand and then you can see what kind of care they actually put into it you know the layers of the paper and the quality of the paper and the coloring you get a really good a really 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 good look at it compared to just you know seeing it on the screen yeah yeah and i don't think i had ever received any handmade cards really before i started getting until i got into card making I mean, I think one of my, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at this. One of my first um, handmade cards was for Easter in 2017. And what I did, <laughs> I, went on, I went online, I printed out a, a digi of something that was Easter and I glued it to a card base. And that was it. I didn't put anything else on it because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I mean, before that, I did print out a few. I had a software program um, back in the 90s where you could print. It was so cool. You could print your own Christmas cards, like for when I ran out of the ones that I bought. Mm -hmm. And those were printed on <laughs> copy paper where you folded it in four, four so yeah. that you had a card. But I had never even heard of this stuff until I, I came across it because of stamps. I started off wanting to make things for my planner and I discovered stamping for your planner. And then, of course, you look up stamping online and you find Jennifer McGuire. Yeah. There are so many new people that are, are just incredible on YouTube now compared to uh, at that point in time. Like Miss Lauren Taylor made. <laughs> okay. Thank okay, you I have to make me one of those now, honey. You're gonna you're yeah, have to give that one more. away. <laughs> you have to give that one away to somebody and when the the drawing, but I want one. <laughs> because I love yeah, that. I'll definitely make a few more of these. Okay, so we don't <laughs> hold up Miss um, Lauren too long. Oh, that's going to be fun. But so we oh, don't no hold her up too long because she does have to go back to work. Well, go <laughs> ahead and at least get that. <laughs> yeah, I know you do have to go back to work eventually. I'm going to go ahead and pull up our, where did I put, there it is, my, our giveaway tool. And let me get back over onto my OBS and get to that screen where I put it. Yes, I lose things on my computer too. <laughs> and that's that's what's really, really, really sad. Okay. That's what I want, and I want it to apparently it's not the one I wanted. I'm looking at the chat. Thank you, Gloria and Cordelia. Definitely didn't start like this <laughs> in my head. <laughs> but it's funny it turned out Christmas. I don't know what the, that's the one. Okay, now I know where I put the thing. <laughs> Like, where did I put that screen? That's the one. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not changing it yet, so you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm over, <laughs> I'm over here trying to figure <laughs> out what, what the heck I want. To pick a different display, because that's not the one I want to look at. Or is it? Okay, this is what I want to look at. Okay, okay, okay. So first I'm going to go over a couple of other things. Uh, first, we're going to do a member shout out to my new, um, for my new groups on the channel. So let me bring that up real quick for you guys. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my newest Crafty Supporter channel member, Cordelia Alderman. Thank you so much to all of my channel members. I really appreciate your support. If you want to know more about the membership perks, just check the link down in the description box below. Okay, now I've got the mic on. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I know that that sounded a little bit weird, guys, but I did want to give a shout out to Miss Cordelia for being um, my first um, channel member. Thank you so much, hon. And I'm planning on doing those shout outs, you know, as often as I need to. Probably I plan on actually adding it to most of my videos. Anyhow, um, I do want to let you know, guys, what are what's coming up next. Next week, we're going to have Neha with Crescent Creations, and that is going to be on November the 4th. On November 9th, we have Maria Giselle joining us here for another Crafty Night. And then on the 16th, Miss Jeannie Ellis is going to be with us. I am going to double check with Jeannie. She hasn't been feeling too well, but I'm thinking that she should still be in here with us on the 16th. And then, well, hello, Miss Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Thanksgiving week, we're not going to have a Tuesday night live that I know of yet. Uh, I've got something else going on that week, but I am planning to have some kind of a surprise thing for you guys during that week, depending on how things work. Not sure what day it's going to be. So um, now I'm going to go, what was I going to do? I completely lost my train of thought again. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Laura just reminded me that I was going to do <laughs> Laura just reminded me we we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway so let me get back to that screen <laughs> okay so I okay, think I've got so everything, I've got everything there, working there and, turn, and I've probably got an echo so I think I just turned off the echo so we're going to go ahead and pull up today's broadcast, and then we're going to pull a winner for the two cards. So this first one I'm going to have, I'm going to pull first for Miss Lauren's card. So let's see who is going to win that. We have 11 entries, meaning there's only been 11 of you guys who chatted in there. If I try to pull it again, it's not going to show anything. So let's go ahead and click draw. And it's Miss Kendra. Congratulations. So Cards by Kendra is going to be the winner of Lauren's card. Awesomeness. So the winner for my card that is not fully assembled yet. This is going to be... That's going to be Zainab Umar. And I think I must have missed the the uh, message on the, the chat on that one because I didn't see the name in there, but that is totally okay. So congratulations to you guys. Um, there should be a link down in the description so that you can um, give us your information, including your mailing address, so we can mail out your cards. I will be forwarding that um, information for you, Kendra, over to Lauren so she can mail that out for you. And let me get back over into StreamYard and get her back with us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I still always have little glitches, little glitches, glitches and, I and I do apologize for that. that. I, eventually, I, eventually, I, will I will get this down and, and become a pro. Become a I, do pro. I do it often right? enough, right? So it's really, <laughs> so funny, it's really though, funny though. Kendra, Kendra, Kendra comes and in and she's a little late, which just means she's going to have to rewatch the video. No worries. But she gets to win that lovely card that Lauren made. Lauren made. I'm going to go ahead. This card. I'm going to go ahead and do a. Highlight on that. So here Highlight is the on card that, that Kendra won. 
<laughs> and then my and then my non-traditional Christmas card. I think that that is. I think that that is awesome. absolutely I awesome. It. I want it. <laughs> and those are, are those and those are are those nouveau drops that you added, that you added or gems? I see the little black, um, the little black dots. Um, they're the pops of color from scrapbook.com. Cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And then here's and what then I've got so what far. I've got, got, so far. I've got a bloody background. <laughs> and Audrey's. And I will Audrey's. be dressing, so this, dressing one up this one up a bit and adding a sentiment and, adding and, everything. Sentiment and everything. To that, to I, do that. That. I do want to. Okay, we got an echo okay, we got an echo again. again. Let me turn that off. Thank you, Maureen, for letting me know so quick because, again, because I'm switching screens, I, of course, messed up on one so sorry about that um i want to thank you guys for dropping in with us again and spending some time with me and lauren taylor i had a lot of fun i think she had a lot of fun um yeah, i'll have to let definitely. her tell me that one <laughs> and i would love for you guys to um first off i want to invite lauren to come back again so i would love to have you back on here again probably not until sometime in 2022 because i've kind of got everything already booked through the end of the year which is good for all of you guys in the awesome. in the chat. Yeah, I, I see that you guys really love this. Um, one of the things I did want to go ahead and mention, though, is that I have no idea what that was. Okay, maybe it was my mouse. I'm looking at the Streamyard page, and I saw a lot of stuttering there for a second. So I don't know what happened there. Anyway. Um, this morning, I had re I believe it was this morning, I released a video showing some of the things that are coming up and some of the things that I have planned. Um, one person was asking me about the workshops because she doesn't have a PayPal. So I am setting up a different way to do that. So hopefully, if you guys want to participate in my first, uh, my first, work first workshop, um, I'll have a different way for you to pay other than using PayPal. Um, also, I am debating over which type of workshop to do. So I may offer three different ones. Um, I'm thinking stamping, die cutting, or um, hot foil, because I know not everybody has a hot foil machine and not everybody has a die cutting machine. So I'd love for you guys to let me know what you think about all of that. You can either leave me a comment down on this video or back over in the community tab. That would be awesome. And what else did I have to say? I don't know. I just love you guys. <laughs> and thank you so much for dropping it. And thank you again, Lauren, for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate you coming on yeah, with us. Definitely. And I know everybody loved watching you craft. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, let me know when you need me to come back. I will be there. Fantastic. I'll take it okay, guys. Lunch. Um, Cordelia says, <laughs> Cordelia says, thank you for being here. At, at, and she's saying it at you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks awesome. so much. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to go ahead and drop off. I think Elizabeth has a live coming up at nine o'clock. Is that correct, Elizabeth? She usually has one around nine o'clock. Because that's usually when I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just waiting for her to say something so we can confirm. Oh, cards, um, Kendra said thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Go have your dinner. You are probably talking about food again in the chat, and I missed most of it. But you guys have a wonderful night. <laughs> and as we kind of showed here, if we can do it, you can.